Welcome back to the Ultimate Guide to Shutter Speed. I'm David Molnar, your photography mentor, and in this lesson, we're gonna be talking about how to understand shutter speed fractions. Understanding shutter speed fractions. I totally get it and that can be a little bit scary, a little bit confusing. It might feel like you need to do a bunch of math, but let me assure you, I have some tips and tricks that can help you figure it out right away and clear up any of that confusion. So first of all, if you haven't watched the previous lesson where I talk about exposure and how to get a correct exposure, I wanna encourage you to go back and watch that previous lesson. Don't worry, I'll be waiting for you right here. All right, you back? All right, perfect. All right, so one of the things we need to talk about is the fractions. So there's lots of different fractions and there's a 200th of a second and there's a thousandth of a second and there's a quarter of a second, all these different things. Here's the way you need to think about it, all right? Think about it like a speed limit or even a speeding car, okay? The higher that number is, forget the fraction for a second. If it's one one thousandth, just think of it as a thousand miles per hour, okay? A thousand miles per hour is a lot faster than 60 miles per hour. Would you agree? 1,000 is a lot faster than 60, all right? So if you see a 60th of a second, and then you see a thousandth of a second, which one's faster? Obviously, the thousandth. All right, so what does it actually mean? The faster that you shoot, the faster your shutter speed, like a thousandth of a second, the less light is going to come in to your image sensor, okay? So that would mean that it's a faster or quicker shutter speed, all right? Now, if you slow your shutter speed down to a 60th, think of 60 miles per hour, let's go with an even lower number, let's say 20. 20 miles per hour is pretty slow for any car, right? 20 miles per hour, a thousand would be like really fast, right? Let's say 20 miles per hour, so one 20th of a second, okay? That's pretty slow. That is a longer shutter speed. And what's gonna happen is that's gonna allow a lot more light to come in and expose that image sensor. So a simple way to think about it is the larger the number, the faster the speed, just like a speed limit or a speeding car. This, the um, smaller that number is actually like a slower speed limit or a slower speeding car. So a couple things to think about as far as the fractions, right? The fractions, sometimes on different cameras, and we'll kind of break down the different cameras from Nikon, Sony, and Canon in just a few minutes from now in one of the next lessons, but sometimes they're show, they actually show up as a fraction where it says one, and there's a, there's a slash, and then it shows 1,000th, okay? Sometimes the shutter speed is just simply like 1,000, and it doesn't actually show the fraction, okay? It is the same thing. Both of them are talking about a thousandth of a second. So if you were to divide a fraction, sorry, if you were to divide a second into a thousand parts, one one thousandth of a second is just simply one of those thousand parts of that second. So if you think about one one thousandth of a second, that is really fast, really fast, all right? What happens when you shoot really fast? A couple of different things happen. Number one, like we've already talked about, it allows less light to come through, okay? If you shoot super fast, less light will come through. But what it does is it freezes motion. So the faster you shoot, or the higher that number, right? Like 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, usually it doubles in numbers, right? The faster or, faster or higher that number, the more likely you are to freeze motion, okay? So if you have a speeding motorcycle like we just heard a minute ago, that's gonna freeze motion at let's say a 2,000th or a 4,000th of a second. Now if you are trying to allow motion, what you need to do is make that fraction number a smaller number. It's actually a bigger piece of the pie. If, you're, if you wanna do the math, it's actually a bigger piece because if, there's, if a second is this long, okay, and a thousandth is just this teeny little teeny bit because a second is divided into a thousand different parts. A thousandth would be just this little teeny part, right? And if you were to do a twentieth of a second, which is a much longer duration of time, then a second is only divided into 20 chunks, okay? So it's actually a longer duration of time where it's a slower shutter speed, but it's a longer duration of time. And what that will do with a longer duration of time is will allow you to see 
motion blur. Okay, so not only does a longer duration of time allow you to have more light coming in, but it also allows for motion blur. All right, so that's how the fractions actually work. In the next lesson, we're gonna be talking about some kind of quick start guides, some cheat sheets, and give you some starting places for what you should be setting your shutter speed to in some really specific situations to get you started right away to where you're shooting amazing shots, capturing the exact motion or freezing that motion that you intend. I'll see you there.